On May 28 each year, the world observes Menstrual Hygiene Day to bring the attention of governments, health professionals, women activists and the general public to the need to recognize menstruation as a biological process that naturally occurs amongst girls. It is an established fact that due to the lack of education in some parts of the country, some communities still see menstruation as a taboo. Tichman North District Education Director Mrs. Theresa Pebu, who was speaking on the sidelines of a program organized by the Tichman District Natlas to commemorate this year's World Menstrual Hygiene Day, says the time has come for menstruation to be seen as a norm. We are saying that our students, our girls, should not menstruate in freedom. Now, in the time past, when we were growing up as young ladies, it was a taboo to be in your menses and still cook food in your house. So any time it was, you were menstruating, you were like an outcast. You didn't do anything at home. This the barrier we, are, we, are, we want to break. That barrier has been broken. It's no longer a taboo for you to menstruate. And that menstruation is, is a part of life as women and as girls. And that if you don't even menstruate, it doesn't even make you a woman or a girl. Mrs. Teresa Pebu is appealing to the general public to support in the establishment of dressing rooms in schools to aid school girls change during their periods whilst in school. We plead that the general public come to help us. So that, that like NAT, our, our, our union, NAT, NAGRAT, other NGOs could come and help us have these facilities in our schools. So that our, 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 our girls will be happy in school. We have a paper called dressing room. When they're in their menses, they enter there and they dress up. So schools that, that do not have will advocate that, uh, help us to get those parts for them. So when they're in their menses, they could just enter there and change themselves without causing a nuisance to another person. Sewa Ifua Teresa is the Techman District Coordinator for the Ghana National Association of Teachers Ladies. She admonishes parents to get closer to their children to enable them share with them new changes spotted in their bodies. The advice I give it to parents, not only the women, but rather the men too, is when their children get to the adolescence age, they should let them be their friends, their mothers, everything. They should call them, educate them, so that when they see those things, they will not go and tell their friends or other, other outsiders, but rather the parents be the first person to approach them, please, mommy, please, daddy, this is what I've seen. So I think the parents, it's high time that they should educate their kids. Former headmaster for the Chima SDA Junior High School, Frank Amado, admonishes teachers to endeavor towards supporting young girls by providing them with sanitary pass when necessary whilst in school. When I was the head, I saw one brilliant girl in class. By in a week, I was not seeing her. So I decided to follow to her house. I realized she, has, she is on her menstruation period and could not have these things to clean herself. So it dawned on me. So I decided every time I used part of the capitation to buy sanitary pads and keep at my office. So that during that time, when I see the girls in that moment, so I would advise my colleague here's there, if the, you are a man or a woman, please try to help the girls. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Teacher Man. <laughs>